Are you serious about kingdom building? Are you serious about kingdom building? Are you serious? Serious. Serious. Are you serious about kingdom building? Are you serious about kingdom building? Are you serious about kingdom building? about Christianity? Serious about winning souls? This is serious business. If there ever was a time for us to cry out now, nah, praise God, and try to get every person we can save, get their attention, and get them saved, it is now. You want to be saved? You can be saved tonight. You want to be healed? You can be healed tonight. I'm going to count to three. If you want something, hurry up and get down here. Why? to do a spiritual litmus test with the people that you call your friends. You got to see how you feel about the ministry. How you feel about leadership. How you feel about the Holy Ghost. How you feel about the standards of Christ. If they don't line up and meet up with Christ, I got to go. I got to find me a new set of friends that believe in the Holy Ghost and power. I can tell who you are by what you do. Could I preach up in here? But some of us are trying to fool people. We're trying to say we one thing. But doing another. But if you gonna talk holy, then you gotta live holy. If you gonna preach holy, then you gotta walk up rightly. Say ah! And if there's anything I learned about God, uh, ignorance is not an excuse. Uh, you got a Bible that you can read. Uh, and if you fail to read it and your soul be lost, uh, it's nobody's fault but yours. Uh, uh, but you shall know the truth. Uh, and the truth shall make you free. Uh, and the truth is that if any man be in Christ, uh, he is a new creature. Uh, all things are passed away. Uh, all things become new. Uh, you know how you know you got like the Bible said? Uh, the things you used to do, uh, you won't want to do anymore. Uh, the places you used to go, uh, you won't want to go anymore. Uh, the things you used to say, uh, you don't want to say anymore, huh? Because I've been changed huh? by the power of God. Look at somebody tell neighbor, do you have it like the Bible says? And when you get serious about kingdom building, you don't stay on the ground when you get knocked down. When you get knocked down, you get up and you should you tell the devil, it's that's the best you got. See, when you ain't serious about kingdom building and the devil knock you down, you stay on the ground and want somebody to pick you up. Honey, but when you get serious about kingdom building and you get knocked down, you jump up and say, I'm not hurt, I'm not hurt. You ready to fight again. God is looking for some people here who refuse. I wish I had a church here. Who can say, Apostle Wallace, I got knocked down, but I'm too good to stay on the ground. Oh, but there gotta be somebody yet holding on. There gotta be somebody, amen, that's yet protecting what God gave to them. There gotta be somebody that will say, for God I live and for God I die. There gotta be somebody that said, Lord, you can trust me. Whatever you need, you can trust me. Whatever you say, you can trust me. I won't go down without a fight. So I got a feeling it's gonna get ugly. But how many mind made up? I don't care how ugly it get. My testimony is the same. My witness is the same. My message is the same. My faith is the same. I believe it's holiness a hell. Righteousness a hell. If mama don't like it, it's 
it's still right. If grandpa don't like it, it's still right. If the king don't like it, it's still right. If the devil don't like it, it's still right. He's going to get ugly. Can you say that? The devil's been trying to take you out ever since God called you to preach. He's trying to take you out ever since you profess a hope in Christ. The enemy was trying to carry under. That's what he's trying to do. If he can't take you out the game, you got to tell the devil, I'm not sitting in the dugout. I'm not sitting in the grandstand. I'm in the game. I'm operating. I'm participating. I'm percolating. I'm circulating. I'm negotiating. I'm in the game. Can you say glory? You cannot go out there and bring the world. Amen. Back in the church. I've got to say it. The devil is a liar. Amen. The Bible say, come up among them. I'm telling you right now, it's time to pray and seek God. It's time to get busy, get on them streets, go out there. You don't need a crowd to patch on tracks with the good of your pastor. That's how we're going to fill the church. Not sitting around waiting when we get the next preacher. Well, get out there and let the devil know I'm saved. I'm sanctified. I got power. about righteousness? Are you serious about holiness? Are you serious about ministry? Are you serious about kingdom building? 